Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon and we're gonna talk about Disney and the animation industry. Now, Geeky is sitting this video out. She is out and about this morning, but uh, some pretty major news coming out of the animation industry that the director of Zootopia and Wreck-It Ralph signed an exclusive overall deal with Skydance Animation. Okay, so <laughs> this is right after Brad Bird uh, decided he was going to ditch Disney for Skydance Animation. And there are several other people that are leaving Disney for Skydance Animation. This article from Forbes from a couple of years ago, Scott Mendelson is aging like milk. Uh, back then, they said it was ridiculous that uh, John Lasseter was uh, you know, leaving Disney. Well, not on his own. He was basically pushed out of Disney and Pixar over some nebulous allegations. Uh, going to Skydance, they were like, there's no way John Lasseter is going to turn Skydance into the next Pixar. Now, Skydance is working with Apple. And again, you know, Pixar got its origins uh, you know, from Apple, Steve Jobs thing is he's taking all the good Disney animators with him and Pixar is in such a uh, decimated state right now it's not that they're putting out bad movies per se but uh, they've been relegated basically to direct to streaming at this point the last three or four Pixar movies have been dumped on the Disney plus at no additional cost clearly Disney is looking at Pixar like they're the B team and without John Lasseter frankly they they are um, I mean, you know, some of the stuff they put out is actually pretty okay. I actually thought Turning Red was okay. It was an okay movie. It didn't feel like a Pixar movie, but for an animated movie, it was it was okay. It felt more like an indie film. But it seems like John Lasseter is, is going to definitely, definitely build the next Pixar over at Skydance. And this is despite those nebulous allegations, which, which we're going to talk about. Because this is one of those cases where I fully believe Disney shot itself in the foot. Uh, you know, they went and they they got rid of John Lasseter because of the Me Too movement, but there was no evidence really that he did anything wrong other than hug people. Uh, you know, maybe he got, maybe he drank a little too much, got a little too chummy, but it wasn't like he was involved in some really nefarious uh, uh, activities with, you know, underage people or anything like that. Um, you know, or, or groping people or whatever. That that did not happen. John Lasseter was just a little too touchy-feely and the media was hoping for his destruction. There was this article put out there. I think it was the LA Times or New York Times. And um, they were talking about Pete Doctor and they made the whole article about what an awful person John Lasseter was. Now, anybody who's who's worked in the animation industry knows people that have worked at Pixar knows that John Lasseter is a very touchy-feely, huggy guy. Um... You know, just you you kind of come to expect it. Not everybody's comfortable with that, and that's understandable. But I don't think what he did was, uh, uh, you know, warranted Disney's reaction, their overreaction to firing him. And now he's taking everything. He's taking Disney's balls, and he's going to Apple, going to Skydance with Disney's balls. Because Disney's balls dropped off. We're, we're going to talk about this. Uh, before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture, news, views, and rants. Guys, over 261,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about the animation industry. We are huge fans of animation, comics. Uh, we talk about Disney having worked in and around the company for a number of years. When the John Lasseter situation happened, um, I was personally pissed off because I'm like anybody who knows John Laster, and I, I don't know him uh, personally, but I know people that have worked with him. Uh, they said he's a very touchy feely guy. He hugs, he's a hugger. Um, he's not malicious. Um, he's very, very good at his job. He's, he's one of the best out there. Uh, one of the best animation people on the planet. And Disney kicked him to the curb because of a couple of allegations that he touched people without their consent, not in a sexual way, as I understand it, but just uh, he got a little too touchy-feely. Emma Thompson wrote a letter to Skydance. This is three years ago. She quit the movie, that uh, their first movie that they're working on. She was playing a dragon. Uh, was it Luck? I think it was Luck was the name of the movie. Doesn't matter because Whoopi Goldberg and, and uh, Jane Fonda joined the movie. They joined Skydance. So 
if his reputation was damaged uh, beyond repair in Hollywood, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you've got you've got Whoopi Goldberg, who herself got canceled recently and then uncanceled and Jane Fonda, you know, who who is an activist. And they're willing to work with John Lasseter. You know, he's not that toxic. Again, just a couple of weeks ago, Brad Bird, legendary animation director Brad Bird is ditching Disney. His next movie is coming out with Skydance. Now we have, again, another one of uh, uh, Disney's best and brightest. The director of Zootopia and Wreck-It Ralph, Rich Moore, signing exclusive overall animation deal with Skydance. They're all leaving Disney. Like all the good ones are leaving Disney. Glenn Keane's over at Netflix. And and look, the people working at Disney, people working in the Disney studio side of things have made comments about not needing or not wanting middle-aged white men working at Disney or Pixar anymore. So they they know they're not wanted. That's okay. John Lasseter will take them. I mean, look at this. This is a couple of years ago. Hollywood reported the whiteness of Toy Story 4. They're fucking toys. They're toys. They're toys. Uh, here we go. Coming from Cartoon Brew. <laughs> Zootopia Wreck-It Ralph director Rich Moore signs exclusive overall deal with Skydance Animation. Uh, Rich Moore, the director of Zootopia and Wreck-It Ralph, has inked an exclusive multi-year multi-year overall deal with Skydance. Under the terms of the deal, Moore will create, develop, and produce original animated features for the studio. Cartoon Brew exclusively reported that Moore had moved to Skydance last month. At Skydance, Moore will reunite with John Lasseter, his former boss at Disney. Uh, Lasseter left Disney at the end of 2018 after allegations of misconduct. His hiring as the head of Skydance Animation was announced nine days after his last day at Disney. Yeah, they're not going to let him get away. Again, Lasseter, regardless of what you think, uh, he is he is one of the best animation people on the planet. He made Pixar. He made Disney Animation what it is now. They had a resurgence with 3D animation with films like Zootopia. And Wreck-It Ralph, they're losing. Disney is losing all of their best people. They can't keep their best people. Moore left Disney around the same time after he completed directing uh, Ralph Breaks the Internet, which I really wish they had retconned that movie out of existence. It's it's terrible. First one was awful. Uh, and he shifted to Sony Pictures in 2019. His time at the studio was short-lived. His sole credit was as a producer on Vivo. Uh, Moore, 58, has enjoyed a lengthy career in animation prior to working in features spent many years in TV animation. He was one of the three original directors on The Simpsons and became a producer uh, and supervising director on The Critic. Skydance Animation, a subsidiary of Skydance Media, is gaining momentum in the industry and has attracted A-list directors, particularly those who have had previous working relationships with John Lasseter. Other directors now there include Nathan Greeno of Tangled and Brad Bird, of The Incredibles and Ratatouille. Disney is literally losing their best animation people to Skydance. They shit can John Lasseter for nebulous reasons, and they're losing their best people. And good, good. The studio's first feature released Luck, directed by Peggy Holmes, who did The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning, and The, uh, the Pirate Fairy, will debut on Apple TV Plus on August 5th. Skydance released its first animation project. Uh, there's a short called Blush, which was really cute on Apple TV Plus. Yeah, so this is funny. He's not canceled. He's not canceled at all. People are not afraid to work with John Lasseter. This is this is part of that pendulum swing we've been talking about. Like they tried to cancel them. They tried to cancel all middle-aged white male directors. But at the end of the day, it's merit and talent. And it doesn't matter what your gender is, what your sexual identity is. Um, you know, what the color of your skin is. If you are talented, you're good at your job and you have a proven track record, you know, you're not going to live in a cardboard box. We had four or five years where people could get canceled for damn near anything. You know, the reverse McCarthyism. And, uh, you know, I I think it's going to be a very uh, short-lived period of time that people are going to look at in a couple of decades and be like, what the fuck was that all about? But the thing is, is that Disney was very short-sighted. And if it was, you know, Bob Chapek, he should have done what he could do to, you know, win these guys back. But why the hell would you go work for Disney when they fire you for such a stupid, stupid reason? You know, um, and same with other people who got canceled. Why, you know, they talk about Gina Carano. If I were Gina Carano, I would never go back to Disney. I'd, I'd be like, you guys threw me under the wheels of the bus. 
Uh, you made a big spectacle out of firing me. You, you hung me out to dry. There's no way in hell I will ever go back uh, to work with you. You know, because I don't trust you anymore. And a lot of these guys aren't gonna trust Disney anymore. They're like, if you if you toss John Lasseter out on his ear over some really nebulous allegations, why the hell should we trust you? You know, how long until you do it to us? And, uh, you know, they've made their own uh, bed now. They're gonna have to lie in it and they've lost their best people to Skydance. And I am looking forward to Skydance. I, I think Skydance is gonna be Pixar 2.0, uh, early Pixar, good Pixar. Uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens. And uh, Disney needs to learn a couple of very painful lessons. They're learning a lot of lessons uh, this month. And they need to learn several more. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later.